Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Shake Hand with Life. I am Narendra Sharma. So in this video, you will study the testing of hypothesis of difference between population means using Z test. But before to move in this video, make sure that you have subscribed Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel and also press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos. So. Here we go. In many decision situations, we want to know whether the means of two populations are same or different. For example, whether the female workers are earning less than the male workers for the same job. In such type of decision situations, the hypothesis testing for difference between means is used. And the null hypothesis in this case is stated as H0 such that mu1 equal to mu0, where mu1 is mean of one population like the female workers and mu2 is the mean of the second population like the male workers assuming both the populations to be normal. The alternative hypothesis may be of not equal to or less than or greater than types. And then for testing the hypothesis use the suitable test statistic like Z statistic or T statistic accordingly like we use in hypothesis testing of population means. The videos of Z test and T test for hypothesis testing of population means are available on Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel. Check the playlist section. The links are given in the I mark above and in the description below. Now there may be different situations under which the significance of difference between two population means can be tested. But here in this video, we will study the hypothesis testing of difference between two population means when the samples taken from the population happen to be large, samples presumed to have been drawn from the same population and the population variance is known. Here in this type of test conditions, we use Z statistic. And the equation of Z statistic is given as x1 bar minus x2 bar in the numerator, which is the difference of the sample means. And in the denominator, square root of sigma p square divided by n1 plus sigma p square divided by n2. Here x1 bar is the mean of the sample 1 and x2 bar is the mean of the sample 2. Sigma p square is the population variance, n1 is the number of items in the sample 1 and n2 is the number of items in the sample 2. Now let's take a problem to understand the application of Z test for the given conditions for the hypothesis testing of difference between population means. The mean produce of wheat of a sample of 100 fields is 200 pounds per acre with a standard deviation of 10 pounds. Another sample of 150 fields gives the mean of 220 pounds per acre with a standard deviation of 12 pounds. Can the two samples be considered to have taken from the same population whose standard deviation is 11 pounds at 5% significance level? Now, to solve this problem, first state the null and alternative hypothesis. First state the null hypothesis and which is H0 such that mu1 equal to mu0. It implies the population means are same and the samples are taken from the same population. Now come to the alternative hypothesis. It is HA such that mu1 not equal to mu0. It implies the population means are different and the samples are taken from the different populations. 
Here in this case, the population variance is known and it is supposed that the samples are taken from the same population. Hence, we use the z-test here. And the z-statistic to solve this problem is given as x1 bar minus x2 bar in the numerator which is the difference of the sample means and in the denominator square root of sigma p square divided by n1 plus sigma p square divided by n2 now process the z statistic by replacing the values of x1 bar x2 bar in the numerator and the values of sigma p n1 and n2 in the denominator and after solving the equation the z value comes out as minus 14.08 now HA is two sided hence apply a two tail test here the critical values for z test under two tail test condition at 5% significance level using normal curve table given as z equal to plus minus 1.96 Hence, if the mod of calculated value of z comes out greater than the 1.96, then null hypothesis will be rejected. Here the mod of calculated value of z is 14.8 and it is greater than the critical value of z. Hence, null hypothesis is rejected. Videos of critical value calculation, p-value calculation under two tail test condition left tail test condition and right tail test condition are available on shake head with life youtube channel check the playlist section the links are given in the i mark above and in the description below now from the z test the null hypothesis was stated as the population means are same and the samples are taken from the same population is rejected at 5% significance level. Alternatively, we conclude that the means of the populations are different and the samples are taken from different populations. That's all in this video. If you have any question or suggestions, then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Switch to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel for more videos. Subscribe it and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos. Visit shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. See you soon in my next video. Bye for now.